Hello, welcome all. Welcome to another important video. I hope you all are doing great. In this video, we will discuss about host network in Docker. Okay, so Docker has different types of network like bridge network. Then there is overlay network. Then there is host network, which we are going to see in this video. And there is network type none. Okay, so each network type has different features. Okay. In this video, we will see what all benefits we will get if we use host network. Okay, so let's get started. So imagine this is our container. So if you don't specify any network by the time of creating this container, then this container will automatically get assigned to default bridge network. Okay, so this is one of the type of network. So this bridge network assigns NAT, which is nothing but network address translation to this container and this container gets its own IP address okay so IP address of host will be different than IP address of this container okay so in that case network which is inside this container is completely different than the network which is in the host network okay this is isolated so network so if you remember our react.js example, we were exposing port number 300 or sometimes port number 80. And this is because we were using bridge network at that time. And since bridge network creates network isolation in the container, because of that, whatever application that is running inside the container is not directly accessible to the host network unless and until we expose port number which is on which our application is running. So once we expose port number, that port number becomes accessible in host network. By default, host net by default host network cannot interact directly with network which is inside the Docker. Okay, so this is what we understood when we when we learn about bridge network. Now this host network change this scenario completely. If we assign host network to the container, then container does not get assigned to NAT. That means container will not have its own IP address. Then question might have arise in your mind. If container do not have its own IP address, then what will be the IP address of the container? How other containers can interact with this container? So answer is if you assign host network to this container, then IP address of this container becomes IP address of host. So let me explain you nicely. Let me delete this first. All right. So for an example, this is your host. Host is nothing but your server. Currently, imagine your host IP address is 1.0.0.0. Okay. This is just an example. Don't take it as as it is. Now, if we assign bridge network, okay, this is bridge network. And this is container with host network. This is container with bridge network. This is container with host network. In case of bridge network, as I already told you, bridge network assigned a NAT. So this IP address will be different. It could be like 1.0.0.1. Okay, like this. But in case of host network, if we assign host network by the time of creating our container, then this host network IP address will become 1.0.0.0 okay so in short if we run our react.js application here we don't have to expose port number 300 okay because network of host is shared with network of container okay there is no network I, I, there is no network isolation here so even if we don't expose port number 300, still we can access its content. Okay. So let's discuss advantages of using host network. So if we use host network, we can optimize our performance. Okay. Because there is no NAT intervention, which is not, there is, there is no network access translation. So that's the reason performance gets optimized. Okay, and which also allows this container to handle large amount of port numbers. Bridge network will also have its own benefits, but host network has this specific benefit. Using host network, you can improve performance. Okay, so let's see this in action. Let me go to playground again, and I think let should let me delete 
existing instance. Let's launch new instance. All right, here. So just to show you difference between host network and bridge network. So I will create one container, but I will not specify any network type. So by default, that container will get assigned to default bridge network. Okay, this is how it actually works. And then I will create another container, but I will assign host network to that container and we will see what all difference that we see. Okay, so let's create Docker run. I will give it a name. Let's say bridge one. Okay. And I will use interactive terminal because I want to keep this terminal because I want to keep this container running. And then I will specify name of the container and name of the image. So we are going to use Ubuntu latest image. We will access bash. All right, so now we are inside our Docker container terminal. So we will press control P Q to exit from the terminal. Okay. Similarly, let's create another terminal. This time I will give it a name. Host one. Okay. But now this time I will specify network type. So I will specify network as a host. Okay, so this container also got created. I will again press control P Q to exit from this container terminal. Okay, so now we have two different terminal. So now we have two different containers. One is assigned to default bridge network and one is assigned to host network. Okay, so now if I show you containers list. So we have two containers running. Okay, so now let's inspect our first container, which is bridge one. In here, you will see inside the network section, you will see this is this got assigned to default bridge network. And if you see IP address of this container is 172.17.0.2. Okay, now let's do the same thing and let's let's inspect our host network container okay so let me clear this first so host network container is 827 okay in here you will see this container got assigned to host network and if you see IP address, then you will not see any IP address. This is because as I already mentioned, if you assign host network to any container, then IP address of, okay, then that container does not get assigned to any specific IP address. So IP address of this container is nothing but IP address, IP address of our host. I hope you understood this concept. But if you don't understand this, let me go ahead and create one container uh, with React.js application. Okay, so I will go DOCKR. So I'll give it a name, let's say React app. And I will use our, I will use our same and I will use same image which we have used in our previous videos, which is hack stack. Okay, we are using this React.js image. And then I don't think we have to specify any other tags. Okay, one, one thing you have to observe here, I, have, okay, I haven't exposed any port number. Okay, I'm not exposing any port number. Still, we will be able to access React.js application because we will assign network type to host. So let me go ahead and use network type. Okay, sorry, network to host. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so now if I run this, 
let me go back to our host and let me open port number 80. And as you can see, it is loading our React.js application. Now this happened all because of our network of this container is not isolated. And that's the reason even if we don't expose port number 300, still we can access content inside the container. Okay, so I hope you have understood this entire host network concept. If you have any questions or queries, let me ask in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.